tomorrow. No, we all can do that tomorrow. Yeah, we're flip flipping, flip flipping, flip flipping, flip flipping. Yeah, practice what you preach, quarantine. <laughs> Holy. Yeah, I just, I, just, I just knew there's a lot of people still awake like me. Yeah, yeah, that's what it is. Anyway, we just try to I just try to check on my people and see how the quarantine is doing for you. Yeah, I know it's not so easy to stay home for most of us who have a lot of work in the night, who have a lot of work to do. Yeah, Palazzo music. Now I called you during the day, my brother, and I couldn't see you. I don't know what was happening with you, but I tried to call you, tried to holler every way, and then I couldn't get you. Yeah, but you know the best thing about the quarantine times is when you, um, when you come straight to your um, social media, there's already people there waiting f to say hello to you, you know what I mean? Yeah, but absolutely. It's a good way to say hello to everybody right now, my friends and family. I know a lot of you out there, me as an entertainer, I, um, I love to share some little moments with you. A little bit. I know it's about 3, 19 minutes past 3 o'clock. I know lots of my friends, you, you're home, quarantined, down, just like me. But I know it is all for the best of us. Yeah, you know, we can't, we can't combat this, uh, this pandemic. If we don't go by the rules of the national, of uh, not the national guidance, the national guidance is just a mouthpiece to tell us what is happening. But realistically, we have to follow the World Health Organization ideologies. Yeah, the ideologies of the World Health Organization are very important to all of us. You know, exemplary is a not exemplary, but exemplary. For example. Countries like um, China are very innovative, very smart people. They are, yeah, they call us third world. Yes, we are the third world because we are the third generation of the world. They are the innovators, they are the inventors, they are the technologians and all those people. So if such people can get into a situation of failure, countries like China, Spain, Italy, America, if those countries are suffering highly from this pandemic, then <laughs> when it comes to where we are, it's going to be disaster. You know what I mean? So I, I want to, um, to commend all my friends who are complying to the World Health Organization guidance to fight this pandemic. I want to thank my friends who are also praying yeah, you know, if we go back to the Bible, we have the story of uh, the Noah's Ark. Ask yourself, you know, the Bible is so philosoph philosophical. The Bible is so philosophical. Everything was a prophecy. The majority of things were prophecies. And at one time, the Bible said that there was going to come a big storm where Noah had to... Uh, we know how to build a very big ark for all creation to take the ark and it will be the rock, it will be their shield. The ark was meant to be the point where they should go and hide away from the storm. Yes. So in the modern generation, this feels like there's a new ark that God-loving people should go, should hibernate and, uh, and board. Yes, Noah's Ark, I don't know where it sailed to because they only told us that uh, he built the Ark and all God's creations, God's loved creation, bought the Ark from, from lizards, ants, ducks, human beings, chimpanzees, everything was on the Ark. So one more time again, when they say stay home, they're telling you to stay in the Ark. Otherwise, the storm is out there to take you by rough. So... Yeah, me as an entertainer, I've been watching my TV, and um, I was just thinking to myself, like, no, 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 no. Well, I'm sleepless, just like many of you people. 
just remember that I started living an entertainer's life when I was 15, 16. So 25 years later, it's hard for me to learn to sleep very early. One, because my routine is like that. Two, is because I'm a workaholic. Even up to now, I'm just thinking of what to do. You know, when you're so workaholic, you want to work every other time. But realistically, I'm also very happy that uh, we have heeded the advice. It's kind of painful, of course, for my people, my people who, who can't sustain such a life. But realistically, to Inox and to Livalam, we have to stay alive. We have to stay alive. And that is a very, 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 very important. Because only the alive people can complain of the standards of what life they live. Um, I know we all have relatives and friends who've passed on. Unfortunately, this time they cannot complain because they're already done. But for us who still have a life to celebrate and life to live, I just really think that we are friends. We are friends, my brothers. We are friends. Now look at Isaac Patrick. When I speak in Luganda, listen to Isaac Patrick. This is not only a Luganda channel. I speak to the rest of the world on this channel. I speak to Swahili people. I speak to German people. I speak to everybody. So if you can't speak English for today, please, I'm really sorry for you. I'll come back with a translation. Anyway, the purpose of my live video right now is to thank my people who are indoors and my people who have understood and believed that we need prayer this time. We need to stay alive. We need God. A lot of things have befallen the world in our generation. Lots of things have changed. Um, in one of my songs, I actually say that uh, Sunday schools don't have children anymore. Today you find a 16-year-old child and you ask them, did you study the Holy Communion? And he'll be like, no, what is that? You ask them, did you study Confirmation? No, what is that? And then... Realistically, let's not just be pretenders. Some of us are where we are because we glorify God's name. No matter how much people think that we are entertainers who are already on, who are spoiled. Listen, being an entertainer, being in the entertainment business doesn't mean you're spoiled. We have actually uplifted that reputation from nothing to where it is. But realistically, God gives power to people that glorify and praise and hail him. Regardless of my ways as written by the media, regardless of my ways as character, regardless of everything, even mad people go to church. You know what I mean? So what people must know is, as much as we combat this pandemic in unison by staying home, being careful, sanitizing and keeping distance and um, encouraging each other and helping each other, let me tell you, my dear friends, forget about Bolingo Yazambe. Bolingo and Zambi was just an expression of my faith. Anyhow, if you love a song or you don't, for me, I was singing for the Lord. <laughs> you know what I mean? So I call you my friends. I call you my friends, my faithful friends, regardless of religion, Orthodox, Islamic, Christians, Muslims, Jewish, whatever God you praise. This is the time that we need to come back to the Lord. We need to... God is supreme. God is not one man like us. God is another. <laughs> He's something else. He's the same man who can heal the world in just a minute or a second. But unfortunately, people are putting so much energy on the pandemic. Yes, we have to because we need to stay alive. And that is what the World Health Organization is encouraging us to do. And we must. But what you must also remember is we must use these times as we indoors to practice faith we must practice faith we are not god we are not god we must practice faith my brothers we must practice faith we must practice faith we must remember god um a lot of us are really offended generally as i say the whole society feels like we're all locked down in our homes yes true but let's make use of this time as we are locked down in our homes to be productive in one way or another. For me as a musician, before they stopped all the cars from moving around, I was using my time in studio. Now, you, my dear friend who's watching me, what are you using your time with? Okay, of course I know you're not going to sell anything at home. You're not going to do business at home. 
But if you can do everything that you need to do, do just one thing that God needs you to do. Give him the glory. Let's pray. Let's hail his name. Let's love him. So for you, my people who want me to speak in the language that you want me to understand or, or you want to understand, I am pretty sure I'll find another day to come back here and I'll... So soon, actually. But I encourage my people, my friends, not only you, not only you, but also your friends, my brothers and sisters, let's give the glory back to God. Let's give the glory back to God. Power, power is gone. Yeah. You see what it is? So we need to give God the glory. In such a time, even the power still goes. So when the power comes back, when the power comes back, I'll have a chance to talk to you. You see, it's all dark. But I love you, my people. Stay safe, stay alive, and have a blessed night. Stay at your houses. And you people who have friends, let's be helping each other. Call your friend, check on them. Call your friend. I mean, if you have some little mobile money, send it to your friend. If your friend has, Vasa. Anyway, I love you, my people. The power is gone, so I sign out and say good night, good morning. Stay safe. Stay away from this pandemic. It's very serious. Stay home. Let's practice and let's follow the rules of the World Health Organization. This is not a battle for only Uganda. This is not a battle for only Kenya. And not a battle for Tanzania. Not a battle for... It's a global warfare. Us against the virus. Thank you so much, my people, and have a good night. Mm-hmm.